You shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. I was banging around and trying to be a writer and a filmmaker, and I read Reservoir Dogs, and I thought it was clearly written by somebody who was 67 years old, and I'd kind of gotten out of jail <laughs> and wrote his life story. Harvey Keitel was the guy that pushed it through to us. Because in the text, his talent was so vivid to me that I felt he should direct it, and I didn't want to do it unless he directed it. It allowed us to discover Quentin Tarantino. It was clearly focused on violence. I don't really give a good fuck what you know or don't know. Which is very prevalent in our country. But I'm going to torture you anyway. Violence in movies doesn't bother me at all. To me, saying you don't like violence in movies is like saying you don't like tap dancing sequences in movies. It's one of the many things you can do in movies, and it's a very cinematic thing, and if you may not like it, it might not be your cup of tea, but the fact that you should or should not do it is not up for question. For me, that was kind of a breakthrough moment. Here, violence and brutal violence comes with a heavy, at times, dose of comedy. Well, I don't 